Okay, so I am currently stood in my spare room, hence why the echo is really bad. Hopefully by the end of the day, the echo will be pretty much solved because there will be furniture in this room. So today we are making over my spare room into my own little library slash reading room and I'm so excited, I can't tell you. So at the minute, the room is kind of looking like this so there was um like a long clothes horse that heats up here and then a regular stud one here but i've put my washing away and put those away i've kind of put them excuse excuse these i need to steam these i've put them on either side of this wardrobe just because it kind of gets them out of the way so yeah basically i need to find out where i'm putting things the this is a pile of clothes that currently doesn't fit me and i want to see if i can get them to fit me so basically i did a wardrobe clear out a few months ago to be honest and i did not quite finished it because i haven't done this wardrobe here yet this is basically just full of all my like nice going out stuff which i never wear because i never go anywhere nice <laughs> anyway so i still need to clear that one out basically after doing that clear out, I just shoved all the clothes back in the wardrobe. There's no actual rhyme or reason. So I do want to organize that at some point, but that is a job for another day. So I'm going to put these clothes just on the bedroom door just to kind of get them out of the way. So yeah, I'm thinking I need, I mean, I can probably chuck that box away. I do want to keep a hold of my Nintendo Switch box just in case. I've got, that is the bag that um you can pack away my nail table into because it's like a one that you can travel with. Um, a random soap and glory big box, not box, but like a big like wash bag type thing that I will keep because it's handy and underneath that you can't see but there is a sewing box and then this I do want to put up in the living room at some point, I got it for, honestly I got it two years ago for my mum but where I want to put it, the wall needs to be painting so I'm not going to do that yet and then I've got my ring light, some random Christmas wrapping paper from last year, and some vacuum pack boxes and my laundry basket. And obviously there's Chungook, which <laughs> this is the job I've done of fixing him on the back. But this is like a little bit bent. I don't know how to fix that. So there's Chungook. So I think, oh, I've also got these three paintings. So I got these from B&M ages ago. So we've got this one, and this one, and this one. One of these is not like the others, um, but they actually have like their monkeys on. So I really like them and I want them put up somewhere. I think they're gonna go downstairs. I just don't know where yet. So I just need to clear everything off the floor and clean the floor and vacuum the floor and vacuum all the skirting boards. Cause to be honest, I haven't vacuumed in here properly in months because it's just been kind of everything's just dotted around so i need to do that first and clean the floor that is the first job for the day even though technically the first job was getting the washing away but you get what i mean
so the room is clear and vacuumed and I've washed the floors like three times. There's still a little bit here. That's just like from heavy trucks. I'm gonna have to go over again. Um, I've done the Swiffer twice and like got on my hands and knees with the flash traditional stuff and a sponge. Um, so over here is so much better, but here still needs a little bit of work, I'm realizing. And I'll do that later because there's not gonna be anything there later. But right now the floor's dry. Um, so I'm gonna, I brought, I brought the chair back in because there's no point keeping it in another room right now. I am going to bring all the IKEA stuff up now, bit by bit, and put them on the floor here. So yeah, I've also I had to cut my nails because I'm they have nothing on, and I was worried that I was gonna snap something. I did get my dad to actually open up the IKEA boxes because I was so scared of ripping a nail again that I got my dad to open. The boxes for me yesterday so I'm just listening to music so I'm actually gonna swap over to my camera I'm probably gonna speed up all the footage and put music behind it anyway and have it like it be a bit of a montage but if I do speak it's not gonna be very good audio quality and I'm sorry about that but yeah, I'm gonna switch off my camera so I can actually listen to music while I work so because I had a dad that is very like much of a handyman it's not his job it's his passion in life so of course when I moved out he was like I need to get you some tools I have a couple more downstairs as well but at least I'm done with my care furniture so I've not made a Billy bookcase by myself however I made a mal chest of drawers by myself so I think I can do this the last set I made with my dad so he is going to help me with some of it because I also got one of the extenders. So I can't really do that by myself. And also nailing in the backboard in the middle, I don't trust myself with. So my dad's gonna help with that. I think I did it. Oh, you didn't even see how good that was. You didn't even see, I did that first try.
don't do anything too bad, please. I need a man. <laughs> just because I kind of get the angle. I can't put it in flat, I haven't got enough room. So I have to go in on an angle, but then to hold the weight of it, I can't guide it in. So I need another set of hands. So for the most part, I built it myself. Good enough, good enough. Okay, I've done all I can do for now and my dad's not gonna be able to come and help me, or well, my dad and my brother, um, until late one this evening so i'm at a standstill right now but i am waiting for a dehumidifier to come and my friends just asked i want to go for a coffee so timing wise i don't know how that's gonna work i don't know if i can i'm just gonna have to see what i can do <laughs> i'll just yellow it it'll be fine um yeah i've bought a de dehumidifier because I am so terrified about book mould and it turns out I live in a very humid country and I've never had to think about the fact that I live in a humid country before but I saw a TikTok of someone who lived somewhere in North America where it is really humid and she got like mould on her books so I've got a dehumidifier that's going to go in that room just to be on the safe side but I am also when I move everything I'm going to check all my books just again to be on the safe side because that sounds terrifying. Okay, so my dehumidifier is here. Came about an hour ago. My friend came over for, I would say a coffee, but it was a cup of tea because I couldn't go out because my dehumidifier was coming. But she actually helped me get this on. So it's in. Now I just need to hammer it into place. But my dad and brother is going to be here in about 20 minutes. And I need to clean the chair downstairs. So I'm going to back and forward, bring everything up and just put it on my bed. So we got to do that now. Okay, so my living room looks very different now. My sofa is no longer here. It is now here. <laughs> and I've still got all my books on the middle of the floor. So I need to get them upstairs. My dad also bought me this. So I can put that on top of the little wardrobe in that room. Um, Cause there's like a few bits that could go in there that I don't really need, but are handy to have. So I'm gonna put, do that. Um, so now I just need to check all the books are mould and take them upstairs. And I also need to take all of these ones upstairs too. So yeah, it's like five, half five. So that's going to be fun. It's, gonna, it's a nice way to spend the evening, I have to say. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if the sofa is going to stay exactly here. I do want to get a coffee table. And it's gonna be like an activity table. So like if I wanna do jigsaws or Lego or painting or my coloring or my nails even, I can do them on that. But I feel like I just can't visualize how that's gonna fit right now. 
but the books are there so that's kind of not helping so yeah and now i've got just this massive lot of space here so i need to figure out in the future what's going to go there but that's the thought for another day so i'm gonna get these books checked actually no i need to go upstairs actually i need to put the shelves back on the actual um case like on the book on the bookcase um because obviously the new case hasn't got the shelves on yet and we took the shelves off the old one to make i keep getting a fright i put chungook in here to hopefully give my dad and brother a fright and it just made my brother laugh my dad didn't even notice um but yeah so i need to pull the shelves on i've managed to match up all the like pins but i think they're matched up anyway so i just need to do that so i'm gonna get started also my pink chair is now up here so when you walk into the room obviously there's the pink chair and then the bookcase i feel like I might move the chair, but I haven't decided yet because it could possibly go there. But then that's like going to be a struggle to open the room. So I'm just going to see once the book's away, I'm going to see what it's like. checking all the books until about half nine it took about three hours to check all my books so i now have a massive pile of books on the floor as you would have seen from the clip from last night and now i get to put them all away and get this room all nice and sorted i had to basically the pink chair that was downstairs which is it was like a dumping chair basically downstairs so i had to, to be able to move it put everything somewhere so i put it on my bed but then that meant I had to then move everything off my bed last night so I've put it all back on the chair but a lot of it is actually like yarn and I've got some like embroidery stuff so like crafty bits that of like hobbies I'm starting to get into and I am wanting to get little baskets from Ikea to go on the bookshelf that's still downstairs to hold those so at the moment I'm in a little bit of limbo so yeah anyway we're ignoring the chair right now. I'm going to figure that out at some point. And yeah, right now our job is to get the books on the shelves. And this is the most fun part of the job. Not that I don't actually like building Ikea furniture because I do actually really like building Ikea furniture. But organising books is where the real fun is. Hopefully I remember exactly which ones I have read and haven't read. and what I have things in specific piles downstairs. For certain things so i had like um i had two piles for like video ideas 
set aside. So I think I remember what was in those. I think I remember what was on my rough TBR and what was on my actual TBR and what I have currently read this month because I haven't read that much yet. So yeah, let's just let's just get to it. You can see the top of Chimmy's head and then other Chimmy, like that's regular Chimmy. Then we've got Baby Cookie and Baby Chimmy. So they need a place as well. All my BTS stuff needs a place too. So, and I have an idea for this wall. I have this little heart light that it's just like battery powered, you just hang it up. That I was gonna use downstairs. And the reason I haven't put it up yet is because basically I was gonna use it um, at the bottom of my stairs, but all that wall that's going up my stairs needs a repainting because the paint really badly reacted. Basically, don't use Valspar because I also had to change the paint in this wall, this room. This room got painted twice. Because I originally I used a Valspar paint and it all cracked and really badly reacted. But downstairs it's like bubbled and cracked. And it's, it's just crumbling off. It's really bad. So actually the living room is going to be repainted anyway. I think I'm going to change the colour of it. Now I've lived in it a while. I think I want to go a different colour. Um, but I was going to use this and do like a little gallery wall with this as a centrepiece. But actually I think I'm going to do this on the chimney breast wall. And like pop this sort of like here and put some like bookish like prints around it so that will be pending because I feel like the room like a lot of the problem with my house is I haven't dressed the rooms I haven't like put decorations on the wall yet because I just haven't known what I wanted to do with it I've just been living in it and kind of thinking I don't know what I want to do so I need to start thinking of those things now I'm getting like the bigger furniture pieces and rooms more sorted I've lived here a year and I just it's not finished yet but i mean that's i think that's normal anyway but yeah let's get on and get these books on these shelves because i'm i've honestly been so excited to get this done i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have one that's like i have to be read and one that's i have read just for now while my tbr is so long and i'm gonna have my immediate tbr it's probably gonna stay downstairs Possibly. I don't know. I haven't yet to figure out exactly what I'm doing with downstairs as a bookcase yet. So. Actually, no. I think, yeah. I'm going to have one TBR, one I have read. I don't know which way I'm going to do them yet. I think TBR, I have read. Might as well. And then downstairs is going to be the ones that I have read that month that are waiting to go on the I have read shelf once I've done my wrapper. And... Maybe the books I'm to haul to go on that shelf, possibly. I don't know. I just realised I need to get like a devil wipe because there's like I found one book with mould on that was on one of these shelves. But I can't remember which one was on. So I just want to wipe it down on the safe side, but also there's like dusty bits from when I've put like the shelves in. So I'm gonna run and do that real quick. Oh, the backs of my legs, my bum really hurt from yesterday as well, from how much I've like lifted and how much I went up the stairs. So like, oh, I feel like I've done a workout. On the shelves however they're not organized even slightly 
and I actually do have all my classics downstairs but I think they're going to stay there to be honest I might change my mind and I'll let you know if I do but <laughs> at the moment they're going to stay down there uh, so the TBR bookcase is a lot more full than the non TBR bookcase um, these ones I have read, these ones are still TBR but I just wanted to, I knew they were immediate TBR for this month so I just wanted to get, keep them separate. So, now I just need to rearrange these. So I think I'm going to start with the half read and then we'll go on to the have not read. Okay, I don't actually know when that stopped filming, but I've kind of done the half red shelf. It looks weird. And to be honest, I've not done it by category necessarily. Why am I standing like the trunk of green? <laughs> anyway. But for now, let's get on with the have not red, which is significantly more full than the half red. my phone which means I have to lose the headphones. I don't know when it stopped but basically I'm stuck putting the BTS stuff on the shelf but oh my god this stuff is so heavy. Jesus. These are my DI cons. So I've got the 2022 season's greetings, I've got the behind the story book, I've got um, Jungkook, Jimin, Taehyung and Yoongi's DI cons and then I've got me, myself and Jungkook. Ooh. Careful, forget there's always stuff inside. Um, and then I've got me, myself, and Jimin, and me, myself, oh, well, us, ourselves, and BTS. I could not afford to get all of them for every member, so I did get my biases, and then I got all the members. And then the D icons, I got my biases and my bias records. I mean, all of them are my bias records, technically. But so I'm going to have to go with that for a minute. Okay, and then I've got the Map of the Soul concept photo book, which I've got to put down a second because, oh my god, it's heavy. I'm going to think that's like the heaviest stuff and I've got it the highest up. I think it's okay. Um, yeah, I've got the um, Jungkook cover of um, GQ. And then the 
I got this version of the Vogue Korea. And then, yeah, whatever. I maybe I'm going to have to put these further down because they're really heavy, but they would really help with keeping things equal. I don't know. I might have to think about that. I've also got a couple of Funko Pops. I've got the... Which era is that one? Um, when he had cherry hair. I've got Cherry Hair, Chungkook, and I've got Cookie, and then I've got Dynamite, Jimin, and Dynamite, Dynamite? I've got <laughs> Dynamite, Jimin, and Dynamite, Chungkook. So, I think they're like, that's not going to work. Will they not stack? Well, that's a bit poopy. Well, if that's the case, I'll put Chungkook with Chungkook. Jimin, Chungkook, Chungkook. Another one did. Just fit, literally just. Okay, I've got everything on the shelves now, so I might give you a tour. Okay, so on both of them, the top shelf is completely free, and then this is what we're working with. So we have plenty of room to grow. So I will talk you through the TBR one. On the bottom here are books that I'm not like desperate to get to. So I've gotten on the bottom because it's just, yeah, and also they're like some heavier ones to kind of help with weight distribution. So yeah, they're books I'm not like too bothered about getting to. Then we've got Romances here. I don't think that one counts as a romance. That one's Act of Service. Um, but it, it's thin and it fits there. And then we've got some, well, they're, that's, lit well, we've got a YA. Then we've got Literary Fiction, I think that is. Then we've got some Greek Mythology. Um, I think that's like contemporary romance or literary fiction, some dark romance, then I've got my Christina Lawrence, uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid, and then some, and then I've got Tessa Bailey and Colleen Hoover and some random ones in between. Then I've got my fantasy shelf and my Kindle, because the Kindle should be on the TBR because I want to read a bunch of stuff on there. And then this is, so, um, these ones are my TBR for the month, and then these ones are like a general TBR that I want to get to soon. And up there is a little sneak peek for further, like, two future video ideas. Okay, so on here we've got my House of Night series. Um, Obviously the follow-up series is there, but I haven't read them yet. And also Vampire Academy and Morganville Vampires, which I have the first four and then book 11 and 12. I don't know why, but yeah. And then we've got some books that I did enjoy, but I'm not, like, super bothered about necessarily. And also Private Peaceful. Um. I found that at home before I left and I, well, before my, before my mom moved out of uh, my house, my, like my family home, um, we found that and I thought, you know what, I'm going to just take it with me. And then we've got books that I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping. I mean, The Fault in Our Stars doesn't count in this, but I thought them two look nice together, so I just kept them there. So these ones I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping. This is a YA spy series. I think there's one or two books more than what I've got here, um, but they were really good. It's called the... The Gallagher Girls series. So yeah, they were really good. I really enjoyed those when I was younger. And then I've got, honestly, from here, it just gets kind of random. So this shelf is, there's obviously some romance, some dark romance, and then Evelyn Hugo. I don't know what to count you as. Verity's not romance. It's like mystery slash suspense with romance. But yeah, anyway, so it's kind of just basically romance. Um, And then this is my favorite shelf. So I've left a little bit of room because obviously we will have Wildfire to go there. Um, obviously I want to get the paperback of Happy Place when that comes out. And then the Kings of Sin series isn't finished. Things we left behind will go there. So that's just how that's working for now. And then we've got Sarah J Maas, um, Jennifer and Barnes and some more random romance that just doesn't really fit anywhere else <laughs> that I did enjoy. This is a mixture of like my bookmarks stickers and some oh these are my like clear sticky tabs um well sticky notes i have some 
book like bookmark holders and pen holders and stuff coming so any gaps there will be like deliberate gaps in various places that's gonna put stuff so that'll be nice and then the bts shelf okay so i am going to just off camera tidy my desk because right now it is you can't see because no trust me it's really bad and then obviously the chair is also really bad so i'm gonna do my best with those at the moment I don't know what I'm quite going to do with the stuff that was on the chair but I'm just going to get back to you with an update when the room is more tidy and we have a better idea of what it's going to look like the room is not finished I still need to like dress the room so this room is definitely a work in progress but I'm so happy with these bookshelves I like looking at them is making me really 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 happy right now so yeah I'm gonna do some more tidying I need to do my nails today as well to be honest with you because they're really bad but that might be a problem for another day. Anyway, um, I will get back to you when we're sorted. I actually forgot, um, my mom wanted me to count how many books I've got, so I'm gonna do that now and just see how many I have. I'm actually gonna write down so I know like all together as well as in general. Okay, so. I have 138 books that I have not read yet. I haven't even counted the whole ones as well actually, so let's... Okay. <laughs> and then have read... In this room there is 260 books, 130, 30, I can't speak, 138 of those are TBR but technically there's also the hold books which is like the books yet to be hold which is 7 and then 111 read plus 4 which I have read this month is 115 read. That's that I own because when you think of how many books I've read quite a few on Kindle that I don't currently own as well that I've read this year, so yeah. Good to know, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys the final tour so far before I've like dressed the room, but that's not gonna be happening right now. So I've unpacked my little dehumidifier. I've got Chungook in the corner here because to be honest, I don't know where to put him and I never use that wardrobe, so it's fine. And then my chair, I've put that blanket on because right now I'm going to sit and relax and read for a bit because I, it's been a very, I've done a lot this last few days. My desk is now pretty much nice and tidy. The headphones don't usually live there, but I've just left them up here from when I was working before. Um, And then obviously we've got the bookshelves. I'm sorry that the light's flashing. I've added this little light onto here. It was on here, but I've already got a salt lamp and then that, which I'm never gonna use in here. I'm probably gonna put that in the living room at some point because it's a uh, like a diffuser. So that's gonna put moisture in the air, which I don't want in a room full of books. Um, but I think it looks really cute on here. And then I've had to just store uh, some, like I have things that need storage. <laughs> so that's just gonna be hidden behind the door. I am gonna add other little like decorations and stuff on eventually. Um, once I get little bits, like I say, I'm gonna have like my pen pots and stuff's gonna be somewhere in like the gaps and stuff. And then actually behind my sofa, I did have a big ring light that like I'd folded and put away in its bag. And it actually fits perfectly behind the sofa and like under 
like the lip so that's just hidden and i can easily pull that chair out anytime i do need it but i rarely need it now that i don't do beauty content so yeah i'm gonna get cozy and probably start trying to get through my tbr